84 million years ago. Many modern mammals, birds, insect groups, even the first flowering plants are already there. Dinosaurs are still roaming around. They have around 20 million years left before the asteroid. T-Rex, a fearless hunter, becomes the king of the dinosaurs. In the Earth tilted by 12 degrees, picture our planet as a chocolate truffle. The shell is hardened, the center is viscous, with semi-solid matter. Its top layer, the crust, consists of tectonic plates that are like puzzles. Continents and oceans come on top of these plates. 84 million years ago, the mantle and the crust started rotating around our planet's outer core, then going back. If you'd been able to see it from space, it would have seemed like the entire planet has tipped over on one side. Today, it would have moved New York City to where Florida is. Let's say our planet is like a spinning top. It whirls perfectly if the weight on the top is evenly distributed. But if you move some of the weight to one side, it makes it tilt. It may have been caused by the moving of the tectonic plates and one of them sinking under another. We might be drinking water older than our solar system. Some scientists think the water we have on Earth may have come from ice specks that were floating in some sort of a space cloud more than 4.5 billion years ago. Lakes aren't always peaceful and relaxing. They can also explode. It happens when there are volcanic gases under the surface that can burst, rise to the surface, and cause big damage. The Earth's rotation is slowly going through time. Every year, the Moon gets a little bit of energy from our planet and slowly drifts farther away from it. These two things are making our day longer, but really slowly, around 1.4 milliseconds every 100 years. That means when dinosaurs were around, the day was 23 hours long. Our planet used to be purple. One theory says ancient microbes didn't rely on chlorophyll to absorb the sun, but on different molecules. They absorbed green light and then reflected back a nice purple color. Every time you take a dip in the ocean, remember you're swimming above more than $700 trillion worth of gold. Not on the ocean floor waiting for someone to get it out, but in tiny particles dispersed in the water. The deepest place on our planet is the Mariana Trench, a spot in the Pacific Ocean, 36,201 feet under sea level. But the deepest place that's not covered in the ocean is in Antarctica. Technically, it's hidden below thick and deep layers of ice, goes more than 8,300 feet below sea level. There are 60 tons of dust falling from space to our planet every day. You probably inhale a pretty good amount of this cosmic dust while just going to work. It's dust, small particles from comets, meteorites, and some other space bodies. Dalal, Ethiopia, is the hottest inhabited place on our planet. Between 1960 and 1966, the temperature was 106 degrees Fahrenheit. And even in the wintertime, the temperature goes up to 98 degrees Fahrenheit on average. 8 minutes and 20 seconds. That's the time sunlight needs to travel from the sun to our planet. It's still not that much compared to what it takes for the light to reach Pluto. Five and a half hours. Almost 70% of the fresh water we have in this world is held in ice sheets and glaciers. More than 96% of the total amount of water on Earth is in the oceans. The Earth is like some sort of big magnet. Its inner core is actually a sphere made of solid iron, with liquid iron surrounding it. All those variations and changes in density and temperature create some sort of force, which makes the iron produce electrical currents. They are lined up by the planet's spin, and together, they create a magnetic field. There are many stars in the Milky Way, 100 billion, but way more trees on our planet alone, around 3 trillion. You can tell how old the tree you're looking at is by its rings. They can also tell you more about the conditions of a given year, too. When these rings are thin, there was a drought, while the thick ones say it was a rainy period. Earth is a magical planet where even rocks can walk, at least some of them, in Death Valley, California. They leave trails so you can record the path they've passed. Some of those biggest rocks have left tracks behind up to 1,500 feet long. Smooth-bottomed rocks wander around, while those with rough surfaces tend to leave straight tracks. The world that surrounds us consists of atoms, and they seem to be solid. But 99.99% .99 of them are just empty space. An atom is just a really small nucleus and a cloud of electrons surrounding it. 
These electrons are particles, but they act like waves. They don't exist in one point, but are spread over a range of probabilities and occupy lots of space. Take the empty space in our atoms, and all the humans could fit in a really tight space like the volume of a sugar cube. Australia is slowly shifting north, 2.75 inches per year because of tectonic movements. Australia is one of the top continental tectonic plates that move faster than others. You'd need 400,000 moons to reach the level of brightness the sun has. Sounds a lot at first, but the moon only reflects the light coming from the sun. It doesn't make its own. And even though that's not enough, its brightness depends on the exact angle between the sun, moon, and the earth. The planet we live on used to have two moons, or at least some scientists believe so. They figure the side of the moon that faces the earth is relatively flat and low, while the other side is way thicker and crustier. The theory says that there used to be the second moon that collided with the thicker side. Some believe there's still a second moon. It could be not a giant space body we see clearly in the sky, but some sort of a small asteroid pulled into the Earth's orbit. Air doesn't mostly consist of oxygen. Almost 78% of it is nitrogen. If you want to see some pretty steep rocks, go to Canada, Auyuitook National Park. It has the biggest vertical drop in Canada the tallest and the steepest cliff with 105 degrees of overhang and 4,000 feet of rock. A team of four American men finally made it to the top in 1985, although there were 30 attempts for that before. It took them 33 days to get up. The Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic are the four world's oceans. The fifth is confirmed to be the Southern Ocean. It's not defined by the continents around it, but by its Antarctic current that goes from west to east. Research shows this current was created more than 30 million years ago when South America and Antarctica had separated. This allowed water to flow around the bottom of the ocean without any barriers. Melting glaciers and ice sheets means more water in the oceans. It adds the extra weight of all that liquid pressing down the sea bottom, making it sink. The Earth's surface looks solid and kind of permanent, but every 500 million years, it goes through a process of regeneration. Tectonic plates crash into each other. Continental crust creates pressure on the oceanic crust, and that pressure activates the volcanoes. Through time, all this results in regenerating and replacing a majority of the Earth's surface, just like our body regenerates skin cells, replacing old with new ones. Out of all planets in the solar system, Earth is the only one with the outer crust that's broken up into huge surfaces we call tectonic plates. This is an important process that allows the formation of oceanic trenches and mountains and also helps with protecting the Earth. When microscopic planets that live in the ocean are gone, they fall down to the bottom. The remnants go back into the interior of our planet and get recycled and eventually end up in the atmosphere, protecting us from overheating and turning into Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system.